Hi, I'm Michael Hill with Canine Chronicle TV, and I'm very excited this morning to be joined by a new member of our Canine Chronicle TV team who has spent his lifetime in dogs. Wayne Cavanaugh is here with us from Kalamazoo, Michigan, uh, and he has been involved in a variety of breeds, both as a handler, owner, breeder, judge. He's done a lot of work on television with some interesting personalities we've heard. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna give you guys a little taste of who Wayne Cavanaugh is and what he's going to be sharing with us on Canon Chronicle TV. So Wayne, why don't you tell us um, a couple highlights from your life in dogs, some fondest memories. Oh my, uh, there's quite a few. I, only because I'm old. <laughs> <That's what laughs> But, Not that old. <laughs> yeah, it's been a fun run. You know, I grew up in a sport. My dad and my grandfather had dogs, and my father was very active. And um, so I grew up in the sport, showing dogs when I was very young. And uh, fast forwarded 15 years or so, and ended up working for the Forsyths, which was like going to graduate school uh, or beyond. Uh, oh, absolutely. The education there was incredible. And the people you meet from there. And um, I got a call, I, I missed a whole lot, but I'm fast forwarding. I got a call from the American Kennel Club. And usually when that happens and you just started judging, you've done something wrong or <laughs> something they didn't like, you know. So I'm trembling, I drive, you know, I'm really, it was a country bumpkin. I, I drive to New York City thinking that's a good idea. It was not a good idea. <laughs> I'm nervous wreck and I'm 10 years old and I go in there and Lou Ostland and Bob Maxwell were, um, running the show then, Lou the chairman and Bob the president. And I walk in and Lou turns and says, I've got shirts older than you. And I thought, oh, this is going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're off to a great start. <laughs> they, hired me. Uh, they hired me as director wow. of communications and I became vice president a few months later and uh, had a great run there. I met a lot of people. Simultaneously, I got involved in television by a chance meeting. And uh, so my first appearance was on the Today Show with with uh, Katie Cork and Brian Gumbel, which was, I don't know, 100 years ago. And then from there, I worked for Animal Planet, BBC, and uh, um, NBC Sports, and a million other networks. Um, wow. Here and abroad. The Crufts gig was just gravy. I loved it. You know, that was many years of doing live commentary for Crufts with the, you know, the inimitable Frank Kane and Peter Purvis and Jessica Holm, who I adore and miss terribly. Um, yeah, it was just a great magical crew. So that was just great wow. fun. And then of course, we just had fun showing dogs too and winning some nice things um, on my first national in 1980, I believe, and um, had success throughout. And then we got together uh, with some good dogs, even recently, Miss P being one of them. So it's- Westminster Best in Show winner, right? Yeah, she did that, yeah. It was a great run. My was son incredible. officially was her co-owner making it the fourth generation of Kavanaugh. So, uh, wow. You're kind of pleased with that. Uh, it's a family affair. I understand there was a great college party that night. He was in school. So. <laughs> Priorities, right? <laughs> I to not play and mispractice so they could, or the cross team, one of the two, so they could all you know, go to the wall. But, uh, never oh, love that. win, never. You know, it was, uh, it was a heavy yeah, you can't You can't plan on that, especially at that yeah. show. Now, what are some of your of your favorite dogs that you've been involved with in your time? Well, she certainly would be one of them. Uh, and working for the Forsyth, you know, you get to show so many great ones. Oh, yeah. And I really, you know, the scope of them. And then, of course, a lot of the really good ones, the great ones, um, just talking about a friend of this, weren't big winners uh, mm -hmm. for one reason or the other. Um, sure. There's some great, you know, setters and pointers in our past that were too early. Um, right. You know, for this world, pointers change right. dramatically. So um, we were ahead of that curve. Um, believe it or not, when I won the national in 1980 with Rosen R. Montalato of Kirk Rice, who was clearly my favorite dog um, so for so many reasons, he was the second orange and white to ever win the national. Really? Yeah. For almost 80 years, it was just liver and white. Really? And I don't think anyone re realizes how profound that was. There wow. weren't any orange and whites and black and whites here. It was all livers at the occasional one. And Henry Tuttle from Cumbrian brought some beautiful dogs over. And Tom Bradley and I did as well. Mm -hmm. And um, when Miles won, 
he was bred to a beautiful liver bitch. And the puppies came out black and white. No one knew what to do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd this come from? <laughs> what is this? So I had to stop and write a little booklet, a book on car inheritance and pointers. But wow. yeah, it was that unusual. You had, and people would call all the time going, what colors am I going to get? Now we know exactly what colors we're going to get. So, yes, you learn was, over time. Yeah, that was a big deal. But it's been fun. And of course, you know, with Miss P, the ride was amazing because the partners were incredible. Eddie yeah. Zook, you can't get a better team. And of course, my dear friend, Will, who's no stranger to Chronicle TV. Yes, um, we love him. <laughs> he's the best. Um, <laughs> you know, and Lori Cranelmeyer, who bred her and gets all the credit, you know, it was just, mm -hmm. We didn't care if we won or lose, you know, we yeah. just had fun. And it yeah, a great it was game. the perfect group. It was, it was. Because those campaigns can be stressful, and if you're stuck with the wrong crowd, it's no yeah. fun. <laughs> Lori had heard, she's fairly new, she yeah. had heard lots of nightmares. Um, mm -hmm. So it took some cajoling from Will to say, yeah. cool. and then for me to say, Eddie's cool. And, yeah. yeah, but then it paid off. <laughs> Did. Sometimes you got to put put yourself out there and find out, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, it, you know, you don't expect, you never know. And it was yeah. Just, we knew we were going to have fun either way, and we did. I love that. Well, it's, it's clear you have a wealth of perspective to add to the content here. So do you have any exciting ideas for what you want to share or upcoming videos that you already have in mind that you want to maybe give some hints oh, at? Yeah, I sure do, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. You don't want to tip your hand, you know. <laughs> but the basic premise, and I'm real excited about it, is uh, I, I guess it all started a couple years ago. Um, we were at an English setter specialty in Ohio, and it ended up being Tom Bradley, and Elliot Weiss, and I, who grew up well, who knew each other for a billion years, and were involved in co-owning dogs and together and such. And we ended up staying at Elliot's house for the weekend. We were sitting in the den one night after the show, talking about dogs and about setters in particular. And um, his wife was a great dog woman, Janelle Rose, and uh, Irish Wolfhound, Scottish Deerhounds. I said, you know, gosh, we should have taped that. And we didn't, we're just sitting there talking. Right. There's gotta be a way to replicate, replicate that in some way. So yeah. what we're doing is we're taking um, two experts, one breed or one topic. It may not always be a breed, but typically it's gonna start with breeds and just drill down on that one breed sharing between three people. So it'll be, um, well, you'll have to wait and see. But I can tell you that our guests are, when I say top shelf, I mean the experts that you would hope uh, would be on the show. And the best oh, is I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be interesting. And I also think it could be a reference that people refer to later on. Sure. Heaven knows. Judges I, education, breeders education. I would, wouldn't you love to have videos from 40 years ago of, of Annie yes. and Henry Stecker talking about poodles? I mean, right, right. Uh, who wouldn't want to go listen to that? So and there's a lot of people who know of her but never met her. Right. You know, right. myself included. Right. So, you know, it gives you a way to kind of make it timeless. Yes. And have that access across the generation. So it's not lost after they did all that work. Right. Right. And, and it goes nowhere. I think it'll be fun too. Um, we're not, I'm not always uh, selecting people that, that completely agree, mm -hmm. um, which I think is important. I don't want just one point of view. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, those people, if you had 100 dogs on Saturday and 100 on Sunday and they both judged, they'd end up with the same six. You know, they think right. they have different, but at the end of the day, right we all pretty much know what a good dog is. So, right, right. Yeah, it'll be fun, I think it'll be fun. Oh, well, I'm so excited to see those and we are going to be watching carefully for that. Again, we have Wayne Cavanaugh joining the Canine Chronicle TV team. We're so excited to see what's gonna come from that and who you're gonna bring on board now that you have us all <laughs> on the edge of our seats waiting for it. Soon. It's gonna be called On Point, by the way. Oh, love that. Yeah, Tying yeah. in the original breed, right? <laughs> and I do Perfect. want to get to the point. I don't want to drift into, I want to focus on a topic. Two yeah. experts, one topic. That's the goal. I love that. Focused, directed, educational, but still enjoyable. Yes. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Wayne. We're so excited to have you on board and we can't wait to see the videos. 
Thanks, Michael. And the puppy has been incredibly well behaved. Well done. <laughs> Off to a good start.